I have posted some truly nerdy cannabis themed videos on this channel, but this one might be the all time chart topper. In today's episode of the Higher Things Club, I'm going to be making a cannabis leaf balloon, well, whatever you want to call it. Some people will call it a balloon animal, but it's not an animal. Balloon design, balloon sculpture. We're going to be making weed in balloon form today on the Higher Things Club. I have here the three items that I'm going to need. If you've ever tried to make a balloon animal out of just like a regular balloon, obviously that doesn't work regardless of kind of how it's shaped. These are the ones you're looking for if you are an aspiring cannabis enthusiast balloon nerd like myself. Made in Canada. Bag of these with 50 of them in there. I think it's like $10 or something. Thing. This is not a ketchup bottle. A lot of people think that it is, and understandably so. This is a balloon pump. They have a lot of elaborate balloon pumps out there, but this is the one that I use. And I guess on that note, as you're probably picking up on the fact, I know an abnormally large amount about balloons, balloon animals, full nerd confession. I have been a bootleg balloon artist for quite a few years now. Why, why are you yelling at me? Whatever, make me a bicycle clown. I've never done it in a cannabis setting. I've always thought about making one of these and taking it to like a cannabis cup or something, but... I don't typically go out in public too much these days. So instead of making one at home, so as I open this up, I'll talk a little bit about how I came to be a balloon nerd. I grew up super poor when I was at like this buffet and there was some balloon guy standing there all awkwardly and creepily. And naturally I didn't have any money to actually buy a balloon. But I did what every poor kid does where I just kind of stood there and tried to look as sad as possible, hoping they'd have sympathy on me and just give me one for free, which the guy of course never did. So then I resorted to the next funnest thing in that situation. I started just pointing at all of the balloons that he had on display to ask him if he could actually make them. Lo and behold, out of like the nine basic designs, the dude only knew how to make like two or three. So in addition to lacking compassion, he was also a total hack. It was that day, I think I was like seven years old, that I promised myself that I would grow up to learn how to make balloon animals, give as many of them away to poor kids as I possibly could. Anyhow, a little trip down Johnny Green memory lane. So this is what one balloon looks like on its own. You always want to kind of stretch them out so they're not as rigid when you pump them up. You think about a cannabis leaf. There's various blades on it, and that's ultimately what we're going to do here is we're going to create individual blades, and we're going to connect them all together. So for this first one, I'll kind of talk about it a little bit more, but then after that, we're just going to drill through it and make all the blades that we need, and then we'll go from there when we start assembling them. <laughs> Another just kind of generalized pro tip on blowing these up. You gotta master the pinch, pinch the end. And then from there, you wanna just kind of give it all a squeeze in order to kind of displace some of the air. So it's not all just sitting in one spot. At the very end of it, you're gonna have a little bit of a tip like this. But as you squeeze the end of it, it'll put a little bit more air into the end there. Not sure if any of that makes sense, but. Now, a pro tip for tying it. I learned how to make balloon animals from some cheesy ass video. It was like called Balloon School, Volume 1. If there's one thing that I learned from it, it was how to tie balloons super efficiently. So you're not getting your finger all jammed, caught in there. If you hold the end of it like this, you should be able to stretch it to where you get a pretty good bit of balloon to work with. You wanna hold it with your right hand, hold it with your left hand, and do this kind of move with your finger. Twist it. And as you can see right there, there's like a little pocket where if you take this other one, take some serious finger dexterity, but you could slip the very end of it. You see it's kind of halfway through there. You pull it out and it's tied. In addition to making it easy to tie balloons for like making balloon animals or parties or whatever, it's also super handy in a water balloon fight. I can make water balloons about as fast as Buddy the Elf can make snowballs. And so on that note, don't ever challenge me to a water balloon fight. You will lose every single time. Not really. I actually have no aim when I throw anything, so you don't have anything to worry about. But I can make a shitload of water balloons in a very short amount of time. From here, we have kind of like a, a blade, if you will. But it's kind of rounded, right, up here. You don't want a rounded one. I've seen people with designs on the internet, they'll post a picture of some cannabis balloon animal they made. And that, to me, is where they always kind of could make it better. Let's make it more bladeified. And so I'm gonna show you a little trick. Kind of figure out the halfway point. Good way is to line these up and just kind of pull it like that. That's the kind of blade that you want. But if you let go, it kind of goes away. Well. You, you go to where you want it and you kind of cinch it together like this. You know, it probably looks kind of phallic or whatever the term is. 
I don't know any other way to do it. So keep your minds out of the gutter while we're doing this. But you can see it holds much better. There's a little crease on it. Now when we do the blade, it looks a little bit more bladish. I'm gonna tie the ends here. Make it nice and tight, and then you have one blade. Now the question becomes, how many of these blades do you make? There always seems to be this big controversy of how many blades are actually on a cannabis leaf. Is it five? Is it seven? Anyone that has cultivated cannabis, which I have, knows that there's not necessarily a set amount. If your plant is really sick, it could have like three leaves on it and look all jacked up. Conversely, I think the most that I've ever seen a cannabis leaf have, probably on Reddit or something, was like 13. I'm gonna go with seven on this one, but you could just as easily do five, or I guess if you're really good at making balloons, you could have 13 blades on it, but I'm gonna do seven. And I'm going to have basically, like use my hand as an example, I'm gonna have five regular size blades, if you will, and then two blades coming off the bottom of it. Probably easier to just show you. So as you can see, I'm up to three larger blades. These next two, I'm gonna make just a little bit smaller, maybe like 80% of the size. This is gonna be kind of the top one. And you're gonna have this one kind of off over here. And then so I'm gonna have a couple of little smaller ones that come off over here. Three jumbo blades, two slightly less jumbo blades. And so now I'm gonna make two little tiny ones. So we've got kind of a medium blade here. This is the small one that I'm talking about. It makes it a little bit harder to crimp this part and make it more pronounced because of the way that it's folded. It just kind of naturally does it on its own. And here we are with a seemingly random pile of green balloons, but now we're gonna start assembling it. You'll notice on some of these, they got these little extra danglers on there. These are gonna be useful when tying stuff together. Blowing up one just straight shooter balloon. This is gonna serve as the handle to the leaf. This is a very important part of this process. You're gonna do what's called a pinch twist. So you create a little bubble. As long as you're holding each side, that bubble's gonna stay there, right? You can do it anyway. If I let go of this side or let go of this side, it's all gonna unravel. As long as I'm holding these, I can make as many bubbles as I want. But for this bubble, I'm gonna fold it, I'm gonna pinch it, and I'm gonna twist it. Hence why it's called the pinch twist, right? You're gonna be left with something like this. It just kind of looks weird and funky and again, potentially phallic. Whenever you're dealing with long brown balloons, getting around the whole phallic thing is a little bit tricky. But again, keep your minds out of the gutters. Think about those things on your own time. As long as it's consensual. You kind of finagle them around. You're left with something like this. This, this part of it we don't need. So I'm gonna take these tiny little adorable scissors I found in the family crafting area. I'm gonna cut it fairly close to the end here. The balloon will shoot out of your hand like it did mine, but now you're left with something like this. Boom, ta-da! Cannabis leaf. Joking, joking. You were probably like, why the hell did I waste so much of my life watching this video just for it to turn out like this? No, what I'm showing here is I've connected all seven blades to this kind of nucleus. Lost in here somewhere is this handle. Now it's a matter of straightening out all of the blades and using some of these chopped off pieces from the shorter balloons to kind of bind these leaves together like this to get them how we want them to be. And here is the final result. It's kind of hard to see the handle down there. It's tucked underneath all the way down there. But as you can see, you take the blades and just kind of arrange them how you feel like. Some blades are going to be a little bit different shape than others, but if you look at any cannabis leaf on any cannabis plant, they're not always going to be symmetrical. You could take this and adapt it and make it a hat, make a little necklace out of other deflated balloons, put it around your neck, and just have it displayed like that. You could take it into your local dispensary, try to get them to give you a bigger discount in exchange for your little cannabis balloon leaf. It's entirely up to you. Shout out to cannabis balloon enthusiasts wherever you may be. Catch you next time on the Higher Things Club.